Hey there, welcome to the Tranquil Shop. There are many things to talk about because a lot happened from the last time that we spoke. One, I went to the local yarn shop here and um, I basically just went in to like see what they had around. I wasn't really planning on buying anything. And then I saw this yarn and I was like, this is adorable. And I got two. This yarn, it's very thin, first of all. There it is. Camera doesn't even want to focus on it. That's how thin it is. Um, and it is black. It has this gold, shimmery, shiny stuff in it. It's very cute, and I immediately fell in love with it. It's also very soft. Every so often I just pick it up so I can go. This is like expensive, high quality yarn. I've never really worked with one of those before and I'm kind of excited to get into it. This one is 70%, 71% super kid mohair, um, which is baby goats. I had to think about it for a second. Baby goats, 20% um, silk and 9% Lurex. I assume the Lurex is what makes it shiny, but I'm, I don't really know what Lurex is. I just, that's what I assume it is. Um, and I think I'm planning on making an infinity scarf with this. Oh, and it was $15 each. So like expensive, but high quality, the more high quality you get, you know, of course, the more expensive it is. And I've never widened my horizon into expensive yarn. So this is kind of my first project with it. And I'm excited to get into it this week. Um, but over the weekend, I worked a little bit more on the sweater. The terrible sweater I've been working on since December. And I finished the sleeve, which means we have a sweater with one sleeve. I'm almost done with the second sleeve, but I'm also running out of yarn. So I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this project or if I'm going to have to buy more of this yarn. And I'm scared. I will try it on later. I'll finish this sleeve. My battery's red. I knew it was going to die eventually. So, gotta go fast. Um, I'll finish this sleeve up to like the end of where the yarn is. And then if it's long enough, I will add it to the sweater and then show you the sweater. Um, if it's not, then I'll just show it to you one armed. And um, either way, I don't think I'm gonna have enough for the neckline. But depending on whether or not I have enough for the sleeve, I might just do the neckline in like white, cause it would match anyway. But anyway, kind of a chaotic start, start to this week's studio vlog. Um, I'm going to charge the camera. I'm going to work a little bit on the sleeve. We will meet back up once the camera is charged. I love that I keep bringing the camera into the bathroom as so there's no other place that I could ever record shots of this sweater. I'm done with it. I have finished it. It's not the best sweater in the world, but it is done, and frankly, that's all I care about at this point. Thoughts. Didn't have enough yarn to finish this sleeve, so it is an inch shorter than this sleeve. Not very noticeable, but them's the facts. The shoulders are a little too tight. Gotta figure that out. I don't know if it's because of the sleeves or because of this specific section or what. But there's certainly some- I don't even know if you could see me because I'm like off over in this mirror. This section. Um, but there's certainly something not quite right about that. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's a little bit see-through. It is not the best if you have a shirt on underneath it. Neckline? 
interesting thoughts. Um, so since I didn't have enough to finish this sleeve, I just did the neckline in some other white yarn that I had. And it's definitely giving, like, astronaut vibes. It's very large. Um, I could honestly do it, like, half, and then it would look somewhat decent. But then the shoulders are really tight. So I can't do that. Yeah, I think definitely next time I make a sweater, only about an inch for the neck instead of this two inches deal, definitely some things to improve on. But, you know, we, we knew at the end of this sweater we were going to have things to improve on. This was not, this is going to be the best sweater in the world. This was just making a sweater for the first time. And we've had some problems with it. It took me two months to make this sweater. But it's done. And, um, yeah, it's done. Okay, I apologize if you can hear any of the, like, construction noises in the background. From what I can understand, our neighbor behind us is taking down some trees or something. I don't know, it's fairly far away, but also it's kind of loud, so if you can hear it, that's what that is. Um, so I was trying to figure out patterns today and stuff that I could do um, after I finished the sweater. And I do know that like I have all those scarves that I can make, the knit ones and the uh, one with the expensive yarn and all that stuff. However, uh, this morning I just got the idea that I should make individual project videos again. I go sort of back and forth. I enjoy the vlog format, but people on the internet generally enjoy single project videos instead. There's not a lot of people who like vlogs. It's a, you know, niche. It's a niche that I enjoy, but not as many other people enjoy it. And eventually as you're, you know, figure out, figuring out with marketing, and creating content on the internet you have to enjoy the content that you make but you also have to make content that other people enjoy as well um so i decided instead i still have to finish out this weekly vlog um and you know it's only tuesday so we have quite a lot to figure out what to do with for the days but also simultaneously i don't want to just like delete it and restart because I finished the sweater and that's a big deal. So I decided I'm going to create a bacon scarf. Um, I created a bacon scarf a few years ago for a friend's birthday. It is exactly what it sounds like. It is a scarf that looks like bacon. What more could you possibly need? Right now I only brought out the red yarn. This isn't 100% bacon looking. It looks a little bit more steaky or something. It's, it's quite red, but I believe I used this same yarn in the original bacon scarf. So I feel like I have to use it for this one. That's all I brought though was the red yarn. I didn't bring out the off-white yarn, but I thought, you know, hey, let's make a bacon scarf. I really like the idea of all these fun and cool scarves. Like we have the sushi scarf in our store now that when you roll it up, it looks like sushi. Um, they just, like, they're useful because they're scarves and people get cold, but also simultaneously, they're just something fun and would bring people joy, and, um, I enjoy the thought of that, so I'm gonna get started on this, quit rambling, you can stop listening to the dogs tippy-tap all over the floor and the construction outside, and, uh, start watching a time lapse, probably. <laughs> So I didn't record like 
half of the process of making it, but I finished the bacon scarf. I'm also not really sure how to fold it up in order to make it like really obvious that it's bacon, but it's done. Um, I am really enjoying the way that it looks, but I kind of have to be careful because the microphone is around my neck. Hmm. Maybe if I just do it very loosely. Okay, so he was really loosely, so I don't mess with the microphone. I didn't really think about that ahead of time. Um, and I'm a little too short for this camera angle, but it's very low-key, I think, when you have it around your neck. It sort of just looks like a red and sort of off-white scarf, but then, you know, that's sort of the fun of it, is then you can go, look, it's bacon. It is currently Thursday night, and I have to go. You're a little short. Um, I will not be in town starting, like, 4 a.m. tomorrow. I didn't really think about this when I was starting this week's vlog. I didn't really think about anything. I just sort of started it because it was a new week. But, um, there are definitely some changes in next week's vlog. I folded it up again. That will be different from the normal format of, you know, a weekly studio vlog sort of thing. Next week's vlog is going to be a little bit more um, based on a specific item and like themed. So uh, I hope you're excited for that because that's what's coming to you. Anyway, I do have to end this vlog here as I will not be vlogging tomorrow, and tomorrow is Friday, so, you know, it's gonna be the end of the vlog anyway. Cool. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please check out our website at thetribalshop.com to see anything that you may be interested in. Um, feel free to order something. Cool. The bacon scarf is probably not going to be up by the time that this video is up. And for that matter, I completely forgot to put up the Infinity Scarf from last week. But anything else is going to be on the shop. Um, also remember that our Valentine's Day sale goes until February 28th. All Valentine's Day items are 50% off in the store currently. Otherwise, you will have to wait until next February in order to get any Valentine's Day items. Anyway, um... I hope to see you next week for another video, and um, that's pretty much it. Another week of a really awkward ending because I sort of went off on a tangent I wasn't supposed to. I'll see you later.